Scunthorpe United will not be in FIFA 23 after finishing 24th in EFL's League 2 last season. They have been in the Football League for 72 years, but they will not be in it anymore as of this upcoming season because, well, they were the worst team in England last year. And it's our job today to come in and change their fortunes in this Scunthorpe United rebuild. We're fixing the irons today. We're going to make them top of England, top of Europe, the best team in the world in today's rebuild. If you guys are excited for a new rebuild here on the channel, drop a like down below, subscribe so that you do not miss out on the next one. FIFA 23 is around the corner now, so we're trying to build up the audience as much as possible, build up the hype for the next game. Now, Scunthorpe United rebuild, let's get into it. So looking at the team we've got, we've got a team full of, you know, 60-ish overall players, a bench full of, as well, 60-ish overall players, um, some older players that I'm going to try to sell, some younger players that I'm going to try to develop, like this guy right here with like 79 potential or something like that. He's going to be a beast. He's staying around. He's our captain. He's going to be here till the very end, I think. And the rest of the team, we'll kind of try and replace them. Some players are a little older, some players a little younger, some players are on loan. So transfer business and stuff. I'll show it to you guys at the end of the season for now until we make like big signings. I'm going to make one rule in this rebuild. And that is that I cannot sign a player who is a higher overall than my, you know, highest overall player in the team. So this guy's on loan. He doesn't count. But this season, for example, I can't sign anybody that is over 61 rated. So that is going to be a way to keep this rebuild more, a little bit more on the realistic side and a way to keep a sense of progression, but not too fast of a progression. So let's get into this rebuild. I'll show you guys at the end of the transfer window who comes in and who leaves the club as well. Obviously, another thing that we have in FIFA career mode is the Youth Academy, right? So we had a couple of really good ones in here. We have our Scout Future star, Riley Davison. What I did with him is I made him a little bit lower rated so that it makes more sense for him to be in the squad. Scunthorpe United, the Irons, actually have a reputation for developing lots of good young strikers. So we're going to try and do that as best as we can in this career mode by sending a youth scouts away to certain countries to look for strikers. But we have Riley Davison here who I'm gonna bring in. And we also have this guy here, Paco Pacheco from Peru. I'm gonna bring him in because he looks like he could be pretty good for us as well. And by that, I mean, I'm not gonna bring him in because he's 15, but eventually he will come into the side. And then we'll see about these other two guys. But the Youth Academy won't be a huge thing in this rebuild. It'll just be in the background. And budget wise, we're not working with too much. We've got about 2 million euros to spend so hopefully I'll be able to spend that well. We're going to try and offload players, and we're doing this preseason tournament too to help raise money. So hopefully we'll be able to sign at least a few players to help upgrade the squad a little bit. Summer window season one is done. We got rid of a couple of our goalkeepers here, got rid of some midfielders, players I wasn't going to use, and brought across some players as well. Finn Burns at center back, Ben Old at from Wellington Phoenix, um, Tom Fellows yep, from Scunthorpe, and then a couple more as well. Aaron Ramsey, but not the one you're thinking of, come across from Cheltenham Town, and a new goalkeeper in George Ratcliffe. All of these players are 61 rated or below, no higher than the highest rated player at our team at first. And I got rid of a couple of players that were here on loan so that our players could all play. This is what the team looks like going into season one. Hopefully, they will do well enough to not be bottom, not that it would matter, and uh, we'll see how we do. Mostly just looking for growth this season. So end of season one, the Irons in fifth, man. I did not expect that from our team. I thought we were a little bit too low rated, but there's a lot of youngsters. They're all growing and stuff. So yeah, we finished in a playoff spot, which means we may actually just be getting promoted to League One this first season, which I, like I said, I was not expecting that. So let's check out these uh, playoffs that we did. So promotion playoff semifinals, 5-2 on aggregate against Leighton Orient. And that put us up against Exeter City in the promotion playoff final. Did we get into League One this season? We did. 2-1 over Exeter City. Come on, you irons going to League One next season. And some of our top players this season, Tom Fellows, one of our signings, 13 and two. Tyrese Sinclair, who was here on loan, 10 goals, four assists this season. I might just actually go ahead and sign him because of that season that he had. I'm not sure what his potential is, but if it's good, I'll do it. And then Nuttall actually played most of the games as striker. I tried to sell him, but he wouldn't go. And our left back, Lewis Thompson, seven goals, two assists. So some really good performers in our first season. Riley Davison, Almost back to his original overall. He's up to a 63. He did play a lot of games, so hopefully his potential is still good. And we are ready to go into Season 2 with a really, really good side. At the end of every season, I do want to take a look at the Premier League and like the domestic cups and the European trophies to see what our competitors are looking like. So Chelsea 
in season one, winning the Premier League on 94 points, which is a big win. I don't have the updated transfers in this rebuild, by the way. I do have a squad file with it, but I didn't load it in for this since we're using a League Two side. Chelsea doing the double as well. They won the Carabao Cup this season 2-1 over Everton, reaching a cup final. Interesting. Liverpool taking down West Ham in the FA Cup 2-1. And since we're in the lower leagues here, we are in the Papa John's Trophy, the EFL Trophy. Portsmouth won that one over Rotherham United 2-1. I don't remember us getting very far in that one, but that's okay. We'd be cool to win it. Feyenoord beating out Tottenham Hotspur for the Conference League in Season 1. AC Milan winning a Europa League against AS Monaco. Do my eyes deceive me? Or was this a Villarreal and Manchester United Champions League that Villarreal just won? Villarreal, Champions League winners in Season 1. Um, all right. What an interesting season. Season 2, our highest overall that we are allowed to sign players is going to be 65 because Ben Old is 65, right? So everybody we sign has to be 65 rated or lower now. So this transfer window featured a big departure in Aaron Ramsey. Unfortunately, last season he didn't like something about his contract or his playtime, so he left for big money, which is okay because we brought in some replacements, got rid of some more players, some Youth Academy players out on loan and stuff. And uh, in terms of who we brought in, well, we spent big on Josh Martin, who's got good potential as well. Brought in a couple of free agents to fill out the bench and stuff. And uh, this guy's actually going to be starting. He's got good potential as well. And then we signed across Ryan Howley. So a little bit of a downgrade in some spots overall wise, but also some upgrades potential wise and for our future. So that's the team for this season. Going to go ahead and sim. I don't really know how this team will perform, but I know it has potential and it will grow. So even if we don't get promoted this season, we'll be able to sign way better players, hopefully, in the season following this. And you know what? After just two seasons to be competing for like pretty much having a promotion playoff spot, we're only three points off. I'm pretty happy with the way that went. Hull City obviously topping the league, destroying it. I think they got relegated from the championship, so they shouldn't even be here. But yeah, we're pretty close, to be honest with you. Just about in those promotion spots so next season we could we could easily be up there getting at least playoffs maybe even guaranteed promotion your premier league winners this season oh my god it was close manchester city and liverpool tied on points and man city clinching it by two goal difference what a season that must have been in the premier league the carabao cup was won by manchester united beating out everton 2-1 fa cup that was arsenal winning that in a north london derby 4-3 on penalties that must have been a fun one the Papa John's Trophy, we still haven't really made it far in this one. Bolton went on penalties or Blackpool this time. Conference League winners, Strasbourg. Interesting. Europa League winners back-to-back -back for AC Milan, this time beating Manchester United. They went from Champions League final last season to Europa League final this season. Fall from grace. And Borussia Dortmund beating out Bayern Munich on penalties. What are these Champions League finals, man? We got some fun winners here. I love it. And of course, we need to see how our players are doing. Josh Martin, our new signing, top goal scorer, 15 goals and 14, four, four assists, not 14. Ben Old, 14 goals and six assists. Riley Davison, finally solidifying his spot starting this season, 11 goals. No assists, though, doesn't like to pass the ball. Tom Fellows, eight goals and an assist. And then Malore on the bench was decent. Pacheco, our Youth Academy player, was decent. Don, who we've had in the midfield, had a full season and enjoyed that. Top creators, we've got Ben Old. And then Howley, our new signing, Dawn in the midfield. Nice. We have a pretty good team. They're growing nicely together. And we kept nine clean sheets. That's also pretty good. So next season, we should be competing for promotion, I think. We, we could pot potentially be going to the championship. Speaking of which, I simmed forward and it's Ipswich Town, the other team to be promoted this season. I also just realized that I left my light off for a while there. There we go. That's a little better, I think. So going into season three, our max overall that we can sign players is going to be 71. So we're slowly getting up there. We're slowly starting to be able to sign some pretty decent players. Only problem is, since we're in League One, all these Premier League talents don't want to come across yet. Once we get into the championship, then we'll really be able to start signing some really, really good players, which is what I'm looking forward to. So for season three, we're just loaning out some more players, selling off a couple of those free agents I brought in last season for some money. We're replacing the goalkeeper. We've got some more center backs in. We got rid of this Pacheco guy. His potential dropped off quite hard. And then brought in a few more free agents with some decent potential. Some regen, some real players. And signed in a few players to help kind of upgrade. We got a new goalkeeper, like I said. Better center back. All that sort of stuff. So our team is looking pretty, pretty good. I think we're going to be pretty competitive this season. And definitely, we can be fighting for promotion this season, I think. That midfield looks a little low rated, but their potential is really good. So I'm going to just keep it going this way and we'll see how we do also our bench is looking pretty all right as well hopefully not too many players go on 
um, this international duty or else we might have to forfeit some games because we don't have much depth at all. Maybe I'll promote some Youth Academy players and stuff. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of Season 3 now. I'm going to stop the sim halfway through just about because in January we made a big addition. Dan Neal coming across at that top of the max overall we can sign players for. Our manager rating was a little bit on the low side and they wanted us to sign a crucial midfielder or a forward and that was our biggest area where we could you know upgrade so i made a big upgrade there hopefully dan neal will be very helpful to us pushing into the second half of the season now get in there lads top of the league on 84 points we're to the championship next season and that means we get to start signing some really really high quality players not that ours are not but we can make big improvements now to our team for sure next season big performance from ben old up to a 74 22 goals and five assists davison doing well lamb as well looks like he's doing even better than josh martin so he might be trying to push him out of the starting lineup and tom fellow's doing well off the bench Demani malore dan neal came in and did well for us as well and top assister michael dawn with 11 assists hats off my guy and matheson our captain doing well assist wise as well so yeah this team is doing amazing rushworth kept 17 clean sheets after joining so we are doing really, really well, actually. I'm really happy with the team. And we're going to continue on in the next season and start signing even more players. But first, let's take a look at the other trophies around town. The Premier League won more comfortably this time by Manchester City, six points clear of Liverpool. Papa John's trophy won by Mansfield Town, beating out Sunderland. I think next season might be our last chance at this trophy, so we'll see what we can do with that one. Liverpool winning the Carabao Cup over Newcastle, 2-1. Arsenal winning the FA Cup, beating out Fulham. It's interesting that they got to the final. Fiorentina winning the Europa Conference League, beating Villarreal. Lyon winning the Europa League, beating Lazio. And PSG winning their first Champions League, beating out Borussia Dortmund, who made back-to-back -back finals. Impressive. The other team joining us in the championship next season will be Wigan Athletic after they beat Burton Albion 4-0. That's a big win. So keeping that progression going in season number four now, our highest overall that we can sign players at this point is going to be 74. So up, I think, another three ratings from last season so let's see what kind of stuff we'll be able to do i'll update you at the end of the transfer window as always with any transfer sales and things like that that i did make so for season four in the championship i decided to offload lots of players who are just kind of not growing as much anymore don't have as much potential loaning out a couple of players as well and then bringing across three pretty big free agent signings we pretty much could only afford that everybody needed a new championship level contract and we had like basically no money to spend so Cochran comes in as an upgrade at left back and we bring in Miguel Aziz and Tommy Doyle off the free agency to hopefully make a big difference for us in that midfield and defense this season and then I did sign Onyango for some money as well to have a backup on the bench I did not know that he was six foot five that is a beast of a player but yeah championship season I think with the team we have everybody over 70 rated now at this point we're looking like we can be pretty competitive, not going to lie. And we're sticking to that, you know, that transfer policy of not signing players over the max overall of our players. We still have Davison and Old at 75 as our highest rated players, right? So let's see how we do in a championship season here with the Irons. Hey, you know what? For a first season in the championship, finishing in a playoff spot, I'm happy with that. I did not really know what to expect, but I'm happy with that result. And we're in the playoffs. So how did we do? Not well. Not well enough. Not well enough, at least. West Brom knock us out in the semifinals, and they do go through to win it all and be promoted to the Premier League. So congratulations to them. Hopefully next season that can be us, whether automatically or by this playoff. And Riley Davison is really stepping into his own now. 77 rated, 20 goals, 4 assists. Josh Martin also performing very well. Ben Old doing pretty decently as well. Tommy Doyle, what a signing he was. 9 goals and 7 assists. Aziz did alright. Neil did alright. Cochran off the bench. And top assister, Josh Martin. So, yeah, really well done. Luke Matheson also assisting a few goals here and there. So next season, going to keep on trying to make small upgrades here and there. Now that we finally have everybody's contract nice and everybody that we need mostly in here, maybe we can start spending some money on some players next season. That rating that we can sign players at now is really starting to shoot up big time, and I love it. 78 now, the max overall that a signing is allowed to be to join us here at the Irons at Scunthorpe United. Okay, shaking things up once again this season a little bit. Some of our older, some players, not older necessarily, but some players that have been here for a few years and have had their potential slowly drop off have left the club. We've also gotten rid of one of our Youth Academy prospects because, well, we just have too many wingers at this point, so somebody had to give. And Malora got sold, me and went out on loan with him. And uh, we brought in a few more players. Well, we sold our right winger and we brought in Apia on a free. I literally, like, cannot afford players the way that career mode is right now in these seasons so brought him in 
Brought in Aconquo on a free as a backup keeper. Brought in Brooking on a free as a backup center back. And then we bought Harwood Bellis and Jevison, a backup center, uh, backup striker and a starting center back now at the club. So the club's looking really, really good. I think definitely we're challenging to get promoted this season with this team. This is like, this is a side that could maybe even finish mid-table in the Premier League, if I'm being honest. So let's end the season. See y'all in June. A little bit of stagnation going on this season with the Irons. We finish sixth again. I think it's even the same point total as last year. I'm not 100% sure, but we are in the playoffs again, so there's still a chance for us to potentially get into the Premier League. Now, do we deserve it? Absolutely not, but that's not how the championship works. That's not how promotion works. So let's see how we do in the playoffs. This time, we do make it to the promotion playoff final. We beat Sheffield United 3-2 on aggregate, and we come up against Coventry City in the final. Do we get into the Premier League? Come on, you Irons. 3-1 victory over Coventry City. We're going to the Premier League next season. And you know what that means. Big budget, big signings, you know, all that stuff. So now it's time to get into that Champions League with this team eventually as well. Carabao Cup is a Liverpool versus Man City game, which Liverpool wins 2-0. And the FA Cup goes to Leicester City beating out Arsenal. These two are kind of specialists in this competition in recent years, so that's kind of fun to see. I may have forgotten to show you guys the winners of the Premier League a couple of times on accident here, but Leicester City pulled off a madness again and win the Premier League in season, is this five or six? One of those. And yeah, wow, that's a shock. In Europe, we're looking at Granada winning a Conference League, Manchester United winning a Europa League, and Inter Milan beating Atletico Madrid to win the Champions League. Great season here for Scunthorpe United. My manager rating is not looking great, but the team is looking great. And we also need to check top performers. I forgot to do that and I almost went to the next season. Appia in his first season, 20 goals, 11 assists. Miguel Aziz crushing it in that midfield with 15 and 6. Davison falling off a little bit, 15 and 3. Ben Old is not that old. He's 23. I haven't made that joke yet, so I need to do it now. 10 goals and 11. And Josh Martin and Lamb. They were fighting for that spot. It looks like Lamb got injured, though, so they're still fighting for it. They're both doing really well. We'll see who ends up being the long-term player in that position. Ben Old also topping assists and Appia as well, so really good job. And we kept 12 clean sheets this season, which is not bad as well. So Premier League next season, I am coming for you. But we're into season six now. It's the next day, as you can see by the fact that I'm wearing a different shirt. And Premier League season here, top overall that we're allowed to sign players, 82. Now that Ben Old is 82 overall, we can sign 82 and under players. So most of the transfers for us in Season 6 are just kind of loans out for some of our Youth Academy players. We made a big signing though, we made a big upgrade at the goalkeeper spot, bringing in Gavin Bazunu, Ireland's new starlet goalkeeper, for a bunch of money plus Rushworth, which pretty much was all of our budget. And then we brought across a free agent in Mangi, which actually has potential, and a free agent for the bench. So yeah, not too bad, and we're ready to sim our first Premier League season, I had to give everybody Premier League contracts again, so hopefully if we can survive the Premier League this season, we'll be able to make big boy signings next season to make big upgrades, because we do need some. I'm not going to lie, I kind of thought we might have gotten relegated with some of the results I was seeing on the calendar sim, but 14th place finish in our first season in the Premier League here, 8 points clear of relegation where we see Everton going down, and United and Leicester pretty far down on the table. Your Premier League winners though are Liverpool with a almost centurion season, only losing one game. Liverpool do the league double, winning the Carabao Cup against Manchester City, but Man City win the FA Cup, taking down Leicester 4-2. In Europe, we have VFL Wolfsburg beating out Barcelona on penalties. We have Liverpool doing some kind of a trouble, I guess, like kind of the lamest trouble you could get. They win the Europa League uh, against Leicester City. And Manchester City winning their first, I think, Champions League so far, 1-0 uh, over PSG. And an extremely underwhelming season by some of our players, like Riley Davison, only scoring five goals. I don't know what happened to him here. He had a hard time adjusting to life in the Premier League, I guess. Hopefully next season he does better. But Appia carried the team with 21-3. and three. Charlie Lamb took over the starting spot. So somebody from our youth academy that actually made it into the starting lineup. And Ben Old is flying in his overall. He's up to an 87 this season. He's also the top assister at the club with nine assists. Aziz and Doyle in the midfield doing their job as well. We only keep five clean sheets in the Premier League. Actually, sorry, three clean sheets in the Premier League. Four if you count the one from our backup goalkeeper. Not good enough in next season. We definitely, definitely need some signings. And now that we're into season seven, that max overall that we can sign players is 87. So we're pretty much able to sign just whoever we want at this point, honestly. All right, so we decided to make some pretty solid moves in this transfer window, actually. Sold off a Youth Academy player. We sold off Callum Doyle, Dan Neal, and Jebison, and brought in Nathan Collins and Charlie Patino for 
quite a bit of money actually they made big investments in the team like a big upgrade at center back a big upgrade at the center of midfield and our team is looking a lot more competitive going into this season those fullbacks probably need to grow a little bit i think uh matheson can still grow some cochran i'm not so sure so maybe next season we'll get to upgrade there but the team itself is looking pretty solid and our bench is filled with some youth academy players actually that are still pretty good and other than that we're gonna sim through season seven here hopefully We'll do a little bit better in the Premier League this time around because Ben Old looks like he's going to get to that 90 overall by the end of this season. Well, hey, no second season syndrome here at Scunthorpe United. Finishing 8th place now on 54 points, 58 points, sorry. We broke into that top 10 this season um, despite still not having the strongest squad and zero goal difference. Same amount of goals for as goals against. So that's interesting. Manchester City winning the league this season and relegated are Brentford, West Brom and Burnley. All tied on points, by the way. Carabao Cup was won by Chelsea, and we actually made it to the quarterfinals of this and got knocked out by Leicester. And the FA Cup was won by Southampton. That is a unusual winner for you right there. Did they not get relegated from the Premier League? Not only did they not get relegated, they're actually seventh, so that's a pretty good result from them this season. And then looking at Europe, AC Milan take down Borussia Dortmund in what looks like a European classic. Tottenham Hotspur winning what seems to be their first piece of silverware here. 3-2 against Villarreal. They won the Europa League. And Manchester City back-to-back -back in the Champions League, beating out their modern rivals, Liverpool. I should probably be checking these stats before I check the trophies, but I always forget to do it. Charlie Lamb leading this season. 15 goals and 6 assists. Appiah with 11 goals. And Davison finally stepping up. I think he scored, what, 4 goals last season? And it does way better this season. Ben Old, one of our top creators. Actually, our top creator. Doing a lot better there. And clean sheets wise, we actually kept seven and one more here. So eight clean sheets in the Premier League this season is good. Hopefully we'll carry this momentum forward and get some more money next season so we can challenge for some Europeans football next season. It looks like we'll be able to actually. So that's awesome. And for season number eight now, our overall cap is going to be 89. So like I said last season, we can sign just about anybody at this point, which is great. All right, again, not as many big moves this season in terms of sales because I didn't have many players to sell, really. Just players that are on the bench, not playing games. And then we did spend money, though. We got in Levi Colwell on the last year of his contract. All we had to do is trade Harwood Bellis and some cash, and that is a sick signing because he's got potential. And then we brought in a couple of free agents. This guy just sitting in the free agency. I don't know who he is the regen of, but somebody's regen. Maybe Harry Maguire. Uh, and then you've got some other Scottish guy regen. And then Ben Chilwell, big upgrade at left back. The left back that we've had, he actually just got a little potential upgrade, but not good enough for me. I need more, you know, growth from my team, just more, more of it in general. So yeah, we've got a good team at this point and uh, the board wants us to challenge for Europa League spot. And I think we can do that. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season with those results. Well, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Season eight was a total disaster and was a total fail. We finished in ninth place. That is a step backwards that is the step in the wrong direction we were supposed to be in the top six we were supposed to maybe even be in the top four and instead that's fulham that's southampton that's brighton we are not doing well at the irons here we need to upgrade i think of that defense more so than anything else our home games the past couple of seasons oh my god we cannot win a home game so oof, i don't know what we need to do differently but i definitely just need to make big upgrades i guess that's like the only option we have the manager rating is not looking good and let's look at player performances i mean davison best season he has had yet by far 20 goals and an assist Appiah's is doing well ben old he's 91 rated now but his performances are starting to slow down a little bit and our top assister at the club miguel aziz all of our midfielders doing pretty well and then yeah just clean sheets wise man we only kept five clean sheets in the premier league this season which is worse than last season's record so yeah we're just going to need upgrades next season for sure at that back line i don't know what we need to do to push for champions league and top four but this squad it's not getting any younger at this point i'm going to need to bring in regens if i want anything upgrading here so just need to keep pushing well a review of the domestic competitions newcastle winning the carabao cup against tottenham spuds on penalties Manchester City doing the league double, winning the FA Cup 3-2 over Brighton. Villarreal are conference league winners. Fall from grace, man. They won the Champions League in Season 1, and now they're winning conference leagues. Wolfsburg winning the Europa League, beating out Roma. And AC Milan beating out Bayer Leverkusen in the Champions League final. An interesting final to see eight seasons in. But yeah, flop of a season, guys. And Season 9, we need to step up our game. We need the money to just sign players, basically. 
Not messing around this season, guys. I'm making big signings. Real Mario, an upgrade at right back. I'm tired of Matheson, man. I wanted him to be here the whole time. I wanted him to captain us at the end, but it's just not going to not gonna happen, man. So, Jean Mario, we're going international for this one. And Fikayo Tomori, 88 rated center back. It's massive. We're doing big things. We brought in a free agent goalkeeper and then offloaded a few more players. So, season nine. This has got to be the one where we challenge for a better spot in the league. Look at this team. It's pretty freaking good, man. Everybody's... 83 rated or above. What else do you need? Little update in January. Nathaniel Collins, unhappy at the club. So we let him go and we brought a cross. Ben Godfrey with some of the extra money that we had just because we needed a center back and he's a pretty good one. So he'll be around at the club. Maybe he'll play backup. Maybe he'll start. Don't really know. Don't really care. But we just needed to bring somebody through. So Ben Godfrey, now a Scunthor player. Come on, you irons. Let's finish strong. Yes. Come on, you irons. Finishing in 6th place now, 65 points, still 15 points off of being able to win the title, but pretty close to the Champions League. Look at that, we're within 2 points of the Champions League spot, so that is way more like it. Still losing too many games for my liking, but our offense is doing well and our defense really wasn't that bad. I think it's just the results didn't go our way sometimes. Carabao Cup won by Leeds United, beating out Chelsea. FA Cup won by Brentford, beating out Everton on penalties. We were supposed to win this and we got eliminated pretty early on, round of 16. And in the Europa Conference League, Leipzig thrashing Grasshopper Club 4-1. In the Europa League, Sevilla beating out Empoli will be in this competition next season, so I'm excited for that. And uh, the Champions League, we don't know who won it yet, and we don't really care. It's one of these two teams. Appia, big season. I was thinking about replacing him, but he definitely showed up big time here. 23-7. and Davison with the 16-2. and Ben Old, 13-14. and Charlie Lamb with the 11-6. and He's the weakest link here right now in our attack, but... Maybe I'll have to upgrade at that spot now because of that. And Ben Old obviously doing well. Clean sheets wise, a lot, a lot better. 10 clean sheets in the Premier League this season. So Chilwell has come good. Tamori has come good. Colwell, Godfrey, and even this Venice guy who we had brought in. Yeah, everybody's doing well. I like it. Good job, Scunthorpe. Now into season 10, we're playing European football, which means it's a good thing I have some squad depth here. We're ready for it. Season 10, there's just some loans out of our club. And I, by the way, I thought we were playing in European football. We actually are not because of some random teams winning the domestic cups, which is actually a good thing, which you'll see why in a second. We sold off the player as well so that we could bring in a backup midfielder and Noni Medweke, big, big addition into that team. Josh Martin had to go the other way as well. So a couple of wingers out for only one in, which again is why it's important that we're not playing in Europe because we have no squad depth. So hopefully we can focus on the Premier League, finish top four this season, and play in the Champions League next year. Oh yes, come on you Irons, finishing second on, looks like just goal difference behind Man City, 90 point season. Let's go baby, that's Champions League football next season, that's a big budget, that's big backup signings or fresh team signings, I love it, I can't wait. West Ham winning the Carabao Cup this season, beating out Leicester on penalties. Chelsea making the FA Cup final victory here against Burnley. Lazio beating Club Bruges in the Europa League, Conference League. Hoffenheim beating Saint-Étienne in the Europa League on penalties. And Real Madrid winning the Champions League final against PSG. And wow, Ben Old is just having the career of his life here at Scunthorpe. 24 and 14, 22 and 10 for Lamb, 21 and 4 for Davison. Our midfield is chipping in well. Our right wing spot doesn't look like we quite solidified a player to start there, but Apia scored more goals. Madweke more goal involvements overall in last game, so he's probably the right one for us, but yeah, good season here, and we're ready for Champions League football. Finally, some kind of Europe. How will we do next season? I'm very interested. So, in our Champions League season, I literally can pretty much only make this one signing because he's a free agent. I can't really afford the kind of players that I need to really make upgrades because we need to give people Champions League level contracts and stuff, so just that one signing into our team and we have a good deep squad i think to be able to compete in the champions league let's show you the group and then i'll see how we do in it so in season number 11 we are in a group with torino sevilla and Ferencvarosi, which i think is a team from romania so let me know how my pronunciation was i guess but uh this should be a group we should top no problem but 11 seasons into career mode who knows what kind of players they have with these teams. I would say we did pretty well in our first time in the Champions League group. Undefeated, three draws, three wins. And we are on into the round of 16, facing off against Borussia Dortmund. So should be an interesting matchup. Not gonna make any signings in January, so let's check out these matchups now and see if we can progress to the final and finish off this rebuild that's taken me entirely too long. Well, it is time for our first game here against Borussia Dortmund and Holland is still around. Other than that, I don't recognize too many other players. Serginho Dest, Kobol in goal, and yeah, a lot of these players are probably 
just like a mix of regens and random career mode kids at this point. So simming the first leg away is going to be, let's see a good result on the board, please. A two all draw, not the worst thing that could have happened. Holland rescues them, a the result here at the end, but it's all to play for at home now. Second leg, I gotta use the bench a little bit here. Hopefully we can make that enough to get through and we do, yes. Another 2-1 result for us sends us through to the quarterfinals. They definitely don't want us to have it easy here in the Champions League. Manchester City in the quarterfinals. Let's get out there and let's get ourselves through the semifinals, please. 2-1 win in the first leg. Davison with a brace. We are this close, this close to the semifinals. All right, rotating a bit again. And this time, I think we're going to see ourselves to the semifinals, please. Yes, two all draws are just enough. We're scraping through, but I don't mind that. Semi-final time, just Inter Milan to get through here. So let's get out there. Let's get a good result. Let's get to the final. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we didn't start off well. It's not over yet. It's not over yet, but it's not looking good. Okay, well, not a good first result. So hopefully the second leg, let's just claw something back here, boys. Come on now. Ugh. I'll see you in season 12, I guess. Well, hey, second place again for us. Not as many points. 79 from 90 last season, but three points behind Spurs. Almost won the Premier League again. It's pretty close. We won our first piece of silverware, the Carabao Cup, though, beating out Leicester City 3-1. And we did a league double, actually, somehow, winning the FA Cup against Manchester United. So no Premier League, no Champions League, but two other trophies, which are nice. Conference League winners, Southampton, beating out Hellas Verona. Europa League winners are PSG. That's a bit of a fall from grace for you lads. And the Champions League, Juventus end up winning that in an all-Italian affair there. So sucks that that couldn't have been us. We could have finished this off here, but we're going to do at least one more season here. Hopefully I can even do this. This might be a failed rebuild if I end up 15 seasons in without a, uh, without a Champions League. I messed up, by the way, at the end of the season. I didn't look at the goals and stuff, but I think we all know who the main men were. You know, Lamb, Davison, Appiah, Medweke, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, now we're at the start of season 12. We need signings. We need signings. I'm really trying to push for this Champions League this season, guys. Jude Bellingham is going to come in in that midfield. Going to sell off a piece, a couple pieces of the Deadwood as well. Just making a one big signing, making sure everybody's contracts are nice. Let's look at our Champions League group. And also, let's look at our side. I don't remember if we looked at them last year. Looking pretty good, man. I mean, we got a 94 rated old Ben Old, who's the GOAT now at this point. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty good side. We're ready to go. And there's our group. RB Leipzig, Fenerbahce, and Odds BK, who's from, I think, Sweden. This is, looks like an easier group than last year, but will it be? I don't know. And I was actually right. We did end up topping this group. Odds BK actually coming out of it. Leipzig getting knocked out. I don't know what that's all about. But in the round of 16, Roma. So not too bad. That's definitely doable for us, I think. Okay, Roma, first leg, first team. I don't really care who they have at their club. I'm just trying to speed run to this final, man. 3-1 win. Thank you very much. See you in the next. Never, really. All right, second leg. Let's go. Get this out of the way. Come on, Roma. Move aside. Move aside. 4-2 on aggregate. Thank you very much. Well, our luck's ran out. <laughs> Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. Let's just see how well we do. I think we can do it. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. 1-0. No. Thank you. Oh, hey, by the way, I never told you guys I made this signing. Dane Scarlett came in because Davison had like a three-month injury, so... Yeah, he's here, but, you know, not really using him much. He's a backup striker. Anyway, second leg. Please, please, the Irons. Please, get through. Oh, my God, that was close. 4-3 in this game. 5-3 on aggregate. Thank you. Good job. Our luck is uh, is definitely gone. Wow. PSG, we're coming up against Mbappe. Please, please, guys, let's get the result on the board. Please, a two-all draw. I swear to God, this is going to be a rebuild that just never gets the Champions League final. Chill well suspended for this leg. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Come on now. I hate this game. I really hate this game. We're not gonna we're not gonna have time to finish this rebuild, I don't think. We have what two seasons left that we could even try to? This has got to be a joke. Well, we did win a Premier League though. That's the first time we've done that. Second place two years in a row, first place this year, Wolves in second. I don't know what the heck's going on in the Premier League, but 12 seasons into career mode, this is what's gonna happen. No Carabao Cup, that's cities. No FA Cup, that's West Brahms. So I don't know what that's all about. We played in the community shield and won that too at the beginning of the year. Conference League won by second place in the Premier League, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Europa League won by AC Milan. And PSG do go on to smash City in the Champions League final. So at least we won lost out to them. Um, but still, depressing. We need to get this trophy, guys. Goals-wise, look at that. Ben Old stepped up while we had an injury to our striker this season. Davison, only nine goals this season. That's not good. Not a good injury for him. But yeah, Lamb, Appia, and Old stepped up in his absence and just pulled it off, man. Bellingham did well as well. And uh, 20 clean sheets in the league. Not in the league, but in total. 15 in the league this season. We've got maybe one or two more tries at this Champions League, though. Not joking about season 13 here. We need to rush through and try and win a Champions League. So I've got the... Um, 
Mane regen here and Demba do you do he's unhappy that the management is poor okay and uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold at right back I, I don't have time to, to kind of be waiting for players to grow so throwing money at these problems hopefully it gets solved and with that I mean we've got a we've got a world beating team I'm not gonna lie I don't know what it's gonna take if not this to get to a Champions League final maybe there should have been an upgrade at center back but like there's nobody to buy there's like nobody to buy and our Champions League groups they seem to be getting easier every time Athletic Club Bilbao, Fenerbahce and IF Elfsborg Again, we should top this. Again, easy top in the group, undefeated. Round of 16, coming up against Olympique Marseille. Should be easy. Let's just get to it. All right, Marseille, I'm not messing around. Get out of my way, seriously. Thank you. All right, let's continue to push them to the side. Let's get through here to the next round. Thank you very much for the Irons for getting the 5-2 wins. Okay, Bayer Leverkusen in the quarterfinal. Not that bad, but they generally bring some pretty good career mode signings across their team. So... Just gonna make one substitution here and let's knock them out of our out of our way here in our path to Champions League glory. It's not quite that simple. Maybe in the next leg, we'll settle it. All right, couple of rotations here. Please, let's get the result, guys. Semifinals come to us. Yes, yes, excellent. Barcelona in our third straight semifinal here. Can we step aside this team and get to a final? I don't know what I just said, but basically, I just want to win this game. Okay, four two. That's big. Okay. Champions League final. We're coming for you. We really are. Second leg. Come on now. Final step to the Champions League final. We make it work. 2-2 two, two draw. 6-4 on aggregate. Our first Champions League final. Season 13. I cannot believe this. I really can't. Back to back in the Premier League though. 82 points ahead of Brighton, Man City, Arsenal, all these others. Care about cup wins. So that is a league double for us beating out Brighton and the FA Cup. So we did the treble in the league, which means we could be on for a quadruple. Kind of like what Liverpool could have done this last season, but they did not succeed. Conference League winners, Valencia beating up Borussia Dortmund. Europa League is Manchester City beating Lyon. And we still have this game here to play against Chelsea, the Champions League final. Davison with 41 goals, Lamb with 31 goals, Old with 29. One of our players out on loan scored a bunch, okay. Appio with 16. It's a really, really good side. We're ready for this, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Champions League final. I can't believe it took us 13 seasons to get here. Well, we're coming up against a pretty good side here, but out onto the pitch. The arena off Schalke. Really? 13 seasons in, this is where we're going to play? All right. Well, Champions League final, here I come. Oh, man, this is going to be one of the longest videos I've probably ever made. 13 freaking seasons it took me to get this far. I I don't know, man. Let's just get this game out of the way, please. I'm so over this. Patino has a shot. Oh, what a save. Play in a corner here. Let's get it on Davison's head. He's big. Bellingham. Oh, we got big players. Lamb, Youth Academy player who's been here ooh, for many seasons. Nice job. Davison, let's go. 99 pace. Big finish. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's 12 minutes in and we're 1-0 up. Davison, our Youth Academy future star. Homegrown talent. Is that what they call him? Yeah, he scores for us. Nice. Ooh, Ben Old wants to get on it too. Let's go. He has no shot power. Oh, God. He has like 60 shot power or something like that. He can blame development plans on that one. Ooh, what a ball from the goalkeeper. Jesus. No wonder he's gotten like assists randomly throughout. Oh, Apio's through. Against him, Copier. He's not very fast. We can kind of run inside. Pick our spot. Oh, God. Shoot. Get it off. Ah. Oh. Tamora, yes. No nonsense. Tackling. Apia out to Ben Old. Ben Old, 99 pace. Got some finishing on him. No shot power, though. Oh, God. Bad angle. Almost gets it in. Cleared off the line. What a, what a mess. Almost half time. Can we maybe get a second goal to help us out here in this Champions League final? We can't get a corner. Ben Old early in the second half gets sent through by Trent. Come on, come on, yeah! Our captain, our 96 rated, 97 rated player, Ben Old. Random Kiwi that I brought across in like season one. I don't know how we grow these players like this. Love that about FIFA 22. And what a through ball by Trent. Like that right back signing. Boom, on his left foot. Still has no shot power. You can kind of see it, but it's all good. Ooh, Davison out wide. Okay, gonna sweat it across to I don't know who. I don't know why he's out wide. He's not the best passer of the ball. Oh, nice through ball here. Davison, come on, get a second. Yeah, Davison, let's go. It's 3-0. And it's just these two having a slobber fest here against Chelsea. I don't even think they've had a single shot yet. And we're destroying him 3-0. Ooh, Lamb's got a lot of space to run down here. I'm just going to keep going with him, honestly. He's been around for a while now, too. I want to show him some love. Let's try and get him an assist or a goal or something. Ben Old. Ah, the cutback wasn't great. Oh, Tamori just rattled that guy. Chelsea get their first shot off. I have an injured player. I don't care. I want to win this Champions League. Oh, yeah, Chile. Oh, yeah, Chile. Good run. Good run. I know you're tired, lad. I know you're old. Keep going. Play it inside. Oh, lost his composure at the last second. 
Oh, he's still in it. He's still fighting. Lamb. Oh, gosh. Davison tries to play a pass. And I don't know where. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Please, no. Last attack of the game. Keep the clean sheet. Bazunu, yes. Get this ball the frick out of here. As far as you can get it. Oh, actually. Popov. Don't make a mistake back here. Yeah, I'm right on you, buddy. Come on, referee. Blow the whistle. Yeah! 13 seasons for the Irons to win a Champions League. Wow, this took me like three days to record. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know who else you want me to rebuild, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and peace.